What's up everybody and welcome back to another delicious prison cooking recipe with your host Mr. Chef Death himself. That's right, today I'm going to be bringing a recipe by the name of Jack Mac. Over here in the East Coast we call it a little something different, but over there on the West I'm hearing that they call it Jack Mac. So that's what we're going to be calling it today. And the first time that I learned this delicious recipe was from an individual that was serving two life sentences. Just because he committed murder does not mean he cannot cook. He happened to be one of the best cooks in the penitentiary I've ever seen. Now let me just say this before we get into the ingredients, okay? A lot of people say they might not have this stuff in their penitentiary. Well, every prison I've been to, and I'm sure a lot of prisons even from the east to the west coast, have these ingredients. Now grab your paper and pen, take down notes, and learn how to cook like an official prison chef today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so first things first, you are gonna need an empty chip bag. I know it looks like, you know, trash, but in the penitentiary, this thing has many uses. And one of the main purposes of an empty chip bag in prison is for cooking. So get yourself an empty chip bag, preferably something kind of thick with no holes, can't have no holes. Uh, and of course, the name of it is Jack Mac, so you're gonna need to get some cases of mackerel, all right? Now, I took the liberty of already cracking one open and chopping it up, and that's right, it's a little bit of fish. A lot of people like to rinse the skin off I don't really care, man. I chop it up, though I'm not rinsing no freaking skin off in the penitentiary. Now next, of course, is the top ramen, all right? Everybody cooks with top ramen in the penitentiary. There's so many different ways to cook these soups. If you haven't seen some of my other cooking videos, check out the playlist of delicious prison recipes. But yes, you're gonna need one top ramen. Doritos, ladies and gentlemen. Cheese Doritos, a lot of prisons get these. I don't care if you're on the east or west, they sell some kind of cheese chips, all right? Especially Doritos. Doritos are very common in the penitentiary, and that's what we're going to be using today. Now, let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. Some people like to, you know, break it up nice and delicate. Nah, in the penitentiary, you got the concrete floors and the, and the metal bars all around you. You just smash that money, you know? When people hear this happening, when people hear that sound, of, ooh, someone's cooking. And then the seagulls come. Seagulls are inmates that ain't got nothing. They come saying, hey, let me get a bite of that, dog. Let me get a bite. Can't help you, stick. Keep it moving. Go to cell 229, D-block, homeboy. Go ahead and grab your Doritos. Now, the Doritos come in two stages on this recipe, all right? Because the fish are already a little mushy. You don't want... You want something with a little crunch. It gives it, it, gives it a little bit of a, a kick when you have a crunch to your meal. Go ahead and add about a cup full of Doritos into the bottom of this bag. Break them up. Be very careful not to pop a hole in the bag. Okay, If you pop a hole in the bag, it's just you're going to have water leaking all over the place. You don't want that. Especially if you have a state-struck cellmate. If he sees a little cheese water running on his cell, hey... It could cost you your life. All right, so as you can see, it's broken up uh, pretty decent. You know, nothing major. Now, you're going to throw your ramen in there. And this recipe, you are going to use the whole seasoning pack. That's right. A lot of people don't like to use the seasonings because they're high in sodium. Well, you know what? You only live once. I don't do drugs. Can I at least eat a freaking sodium pack? Go ahead and dump the seasoning right on in. Make sure you get every little morsel. Dump the ramen. Now, shake it up good. Let the seasoning get around the Doritos and the uh, ramen. Make sure it's not clumped up. All that seasoning's not clumped up in one side. Now let me tell y'all something. This is actually a huge protein dish in the penitentiary because you're using mackerel, okay? Or tuna, uh, salmon, okay? I've had salmon and tuna sold in the prisons I've been in. I've been in high level prisons. They sold the same kind of fish. But mackerel is the cheaper fish, all right? But it still has a lot of protein. So when you see a bunch of people mackerel pouches or uh, tuna pouches, they usually got a little bit of money. And those are a high commodity, okay? People bring them to the poker table, 
Uh, they buy drugs with mackerel or tuna fish pouches. They do all, it, it's their currency in the penitentiary. The food that the state gives out, okay, I mean, on the boxes, it literally says for institutional use only, okay? So no one else besides inmates are allowed to eat the majority of the food that they supply for free in the chow hall, okay? So uh, a lot of people try to eat their own stuff, and this is one of the most healthiest things you can buy off the canteen list, it's fish. And you know, everybody's a skeptic, even in the YouTube realm to the penitentiary. You go to penitentiary, people are like, man, you can't be eating all that tuna. You know how much, what is it, mercury? I, I can't remember what they say is in it. Mercury's in that freaking tuna. If you eat it all day, man, you can die, you know? Man, come on, man, it's fish. It's fish, tuna. I'll eat a pouch of tuna every day. Get off my freaking back, dog. Go to cell 222 in D block. Now, last but not least, on this very intricate recipe, you're going to need some hot water. I don't care how you get it. There's all kinds of ways to get hot, boiling hot water in the penitentiary. It doesn't even have to be boiling hot. I've cooked these things with ice cold water, believe it or not. Just get yourself some freaking water and try to get it hot. You know what I mean? I get mine straight from the sink tap. Let the hot water run for about five or ten minutes until it's got some steam coming up off of it. And that's all it needs. You know, it doesn't have to be boiling. Now, a lot of people do not know exactly how much water to put into a recipe such as this, so I'm going to use my measuring cup to make it easy for y'all to make it at home. But me, personally, I've done a lot of time in the penitentiary. I can usually just eyeball it, but right now we're going to start with one cup of hot water. That's all you need. One cup. All right. So one cup of water for one soup and a half a cup of Doritos. That's all you're going to need. So once you add the water, you're going to wrap it up in a bag like this. Just roll it up like a burrito. And once you open it up in about 10 or 15 minutes, all the water will be absorbed into the chips and the noodle. Okay. So let's go ahead and let this puppy sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're going to bust this jank wide open. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in prison, you don't have a glass bowl. You do have little plastic Tupperwares. But uh, usually... People just bust the bag wide open and eat right off the bag as a plate. But today we're gonna keep it classy and um, and just pour it right on in. Okay. All right. As you can see, the Doritos got it nice and cheesy. Let me zoom in on that for you. Now, what you're gonna do? You're gonna add. The mackerel. All right. Lucy, back up. Give it a good stir. Now, you know, a lot of people don't like mayonnaise or mustard. Uh, Lucy, I'm not even playing with you, all right? Don't, don't interrupt me. I got an English bulldog for anyone who don't know. She's always here with me when I cook these delicious prison recipes. All right. Now, you see, I don't, I don't typically like a bowl. I don't really like a bowl, but we're going to keep it like that. Now, the ramen noodle soup that is right here, use the empty bag, throw a handful, I'd say just a small handful inside of the empty ramen noodle bag. And this is the two part that I was telling you with the Doritos. I don't want too much, but it's just enough to give it a little crunch. Break it up just a little bit, not too fine. Sprinkle it on in. Got one that's a little too big. Now, a lot of places do not have Texas Pete hot sauce, but every prison I was in, it was not Texas Pete, but they did sell packets of hot sauce. All right, so I'm gonna put some hot sauce in mine. Mm. 
We, they also sold in prisons I was in mayonnaise and mustard packets. Now a lot of people are not fans of mustard and or mayonnaise. So I'm just gonna eat one without it. And then I'm gonna eat some with mayonnaise and mustard. I know this is sodium central. Now let's go ahead and grab a chip, scoop it up, and taste this money. Jack Mac, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Mac. I swear on everything I love, man. If y'all haven't tried this, I don't care if you got millions of dollars. If you haven't not tried this before, you gotta try it. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. I ain't had mackerel. Lucy, calm down, girl. Mm. I ain't had mackerel in a while. You know it's good when it makes your eyes lower a little bit. Mm. Now, I'm going to bust this bag open. And I'm going to try a little bit with mayonnaise and mustard. Okay, for all the mayonnaise and mustard fans out there, like me, that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, this is more of an authentic plate. I put the remainder of the Jack Mac on the chip bag that I opened up because I'm going to do it the way I like to do it. And that's with a little mayonnaise and mustard. Don't want a lot. Oh, I don't even think this thing's open yet. Nope, not even open. Brand new. That's that brand new mayo game. That's strong. Be very quick about it. Mm -hmm. A little mustard. I love mustard. I love mustard and onions. A little more hot sauce. Jeez. Very unhealthy, ladies and gentlemen. Very unhealthy. And there you go. That's how I like to eat my Jack Mac with a little mustard, a little mayo. And like I said, a lot of people can't get these kind of condiments, but I could. Bottoms up, ladies and gentlemen. When you eat these chips, it starts to make you wonder about life. Your thought process becomes much more deeper than you ever thought you might have thought than you ever thought, than you might have thought. I apologize if the lighting is going in and out. I'm right in my kitchen, but the sun, when it comes out, it is bright. Delicious recipe, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious recipe. Until the next time, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out all the links. <coughs> Check out all the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Go check out my Patreon. Go check out my wife's channel, The Compound 24-7, with all the behind the scenes of our lives. Okay? And also go check out Teespring. Buy yourself some 23 and one merchandise and shh, shut up, Lucy. I'm going to be bringing the Chef Death aprons back to y'all. Very soon, when I, I made about 200 Chef Death aprons, them things sold so fast. It's unbelievable. So be on the lookout for those aprons coming your way again. If you don't know what they look like, I was wearing it in the beginning of this video. Lucy, go lay down. I'll give you something, okay? In one second. God. And as always, I salute to every last one of you who've been supporting me since the beginning and everyone who is just now joining the lockdown compound. Y'all be easy. 
Be safe and stay free. Hey.